20,420 people filled the Wells Fargo Center on January 4th to see this matchup between Temple and number three ranked Duke, making it the third largest crowd to watch a college basketball game in this arena. Austin Rivers got the Blue Devils on the board first. He hits this three, giving his team the early 3-0 lead. But Khalif Wyatt makes the steal and lays it up for two, so he gets the Owls' first points of the game. Much more from him coming up. The Owls and Blue Devils would exchange leads throughout the beginning of this matchup, but with just under 10 minutes left in the first half, our leader Hollis Jefferson hits this jumper to take a one-point lead, and the Owls would never look back from there. With just seconds to go and the Blue Devils down two, Seth Curry tries to tie it up, but his shot is no good as the Owls take a 35-33 lead into the locker room. We pick things up in the second half with the Owls already up four. Khalif Wyatt stops and pops this jumper, scoring two of his 22 points for the night. Coach K not looking too happy. Just about midway through the second half, Ramon Moore makes a beautiful behind-the-back move past Andre Dawkins and puts his team up by six. Now cue the Khalif Wyatt show. Less than five minutes remained when Wyatt took it into his own hands to seal the deal as he hit back-to-back -back three pointers to put his team up by nine points. A few last second attempts just wasn't enough as the Owls hang on to win 78-73 as they upset number three ranked Duke. The entire student section fled the Wells Fargo Center court as they celebrated with the team in this huge victory. This is only the second time that Duke had ever lost a team in the Atlantic 10 Conference. The first time was 15 years ago, back in 1996, the last time the Temple beat Duke. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Johnny Miller.